so we were in beautiful again in Acque. We decided to spend this time since we're in Canada waiting for our paperwork uh, to finish off some stuff that we needed to get done. So we just saw a dinghy and an outboard. I'm gonna go and get some visa photos, like a model. And we're also noticing that there are still some Canadian geese around. While the trees are starting to yellow, it's nice to know that the geese haven't given up on Canada yet. So we'll follow them. Gananaque is located about half an hour east of Kingston and is in the heart of the Thousand Islands, which really consists of 1,864 islands. The next day we got our dinghy delivered, which was a Zodiac hard bottom rib with an 8 horsepower Yamaha motor. I'm excited. You should be able to use it first now. I would hold spot that this is what the side. Remember, don't take too, till you're used to it, don't take uh, turns too tight. Yeah. And make sure that red thing's around your wrist this time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we were advised to get a hard bottom dinghy due to its planing capabilities. It had been difficult to find one, and so we had really lucked out finding one in Kingston. To make sure everything was working as expected, I took the dinghy for a quick sea trial. Did you have her at full throttle? Yeah. Okay, when you take off at the beginning, full throttle, and then lean forward right into that bow, and she'll just pop right up. I felt that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... Feels, um, feels kind of. It's just like lifting up at the front, so it's not going anywhere. But then, then when it's off, it's. Uh, it just goes. It takes off. It's great. Yeah. We were finally able to use our dinghy davits. Uh, well, well, we are on our way to Marine Outfitters to pick up a lift pump at the Catsaway because there were some issues in low rev where she wasn't getting enough fuel. So we figured out it was the lift pump uh, and then we messaged Doug to make sure we weren't missing anything and he told us that he had already bought one of these lift pumps so uh, we're going to turn around and look on the boat for the uh, for the lift pump that he put away. Uh, Doug was very meticulous with a lot of things which is uh, awesome to buy a boat from someone as meticulous as Doug so uh, if you're seeing this Doug we really appreciate everything you do. Mm -hmm. She's in beautiful shape. We have a part. Yay! It's a lift pump so fuel goes in and fuel comes out but uh, ours isn't working at the moment, which means that the engine isn't getting enough fuel, in, only in low revs though. So we can go fast, we just can't go slow. So we're just gonna go rearing into the dock. Yes. <laughs> we realize we have this. <laughs> Westerbeek spare parts kit, yay. We're on our second sea trial. I doubt you can hear anything because of the wind, but everything seems to be going well. We're gonna take it back at the troublesome 1800 RPM and see if she gives us any, any grief. We didn't think to get out the camera when the last time the engine started having the issues, we were too stressed. So this is a reenactment of what would happen. The engine's just down here. And it'll complain a lot. Do it again. But now it's doing really well. Now it's like... So before... And now... We're heading north. We're, we're going, heading the wrong way. Going the wrong way. The trees are reddish, but Canada has put on a few wonderful last days of summer for us, so we're not complaining at all. We'll head to the embassy to early tomorrow morning, sort everything out. It's early. I got the earliest appointment I could, which was Monday at 8.15, but we're going there ridiculously early. It's 7.15. It usually only takes us 10 minutes to get there, but Greg's worried about a potential <laughs> hour worth of traffic. We didn't want to take any chances. The visa situation was very stressful, as it had the potential to derail the whole trip. If we didn't get past the Erie Canal before its closing date in October 11th, we would be frozen in Canada. To offset the stress, we decided to spend the day at a spa in Chelsea. We're all blissed out. <laughs> yeah, five hours of this bar. Um, yeah. And now we have no room. 
good. What just happened? Eric, he went for a walk on the front of the boat and he stepped on one of our hatch screens and he fell <laughs> into the boat. I wasn't watching him close enough. I didn't think he'd fit. I think he's okay. I think he's just embarrassed. <laughs> Captain's log, Earth date, 20170922. It's the night before we depart on our journey. Engine has been fixed. There was issue with the fuel. The fuel filter and the lift pump was not working, but that's been replaced now. And the fuel filter has been replaced as well. We have spare parts of the sails. We have a new dinghy that works wonderfully and uh, feeling really confident. One issue is the outer net is broken, so we don't have weather via satellite at the moment. It's not a huge issue. I'll start an engineering log and look at uh, fixing that up. Uh, we're going to go to bed soon and then head off bright and early tomorrow morning. Treasure Island Marina on route to Henderson Bay. We should arrive there within about six hours. There's light wind, so we'll likely have to motor most of the way. Yeah, so time, the second time is a good one. So we'll overnight at Henderson Bay, then off to Oswego, and that's where we'll meet the customs people. And yes, uh, I have a piece of paper now. I would remind you, you go check the piece of paper just to make sure it's in the So it was a bit of a rough ride here, and Herky found himself a little cubby place to hide. But it stopped moving now, buddy, so you can come out. Good boy. Let's get some food in him. Captain's log, supplemento. We have arrived in Henderson Bay. We'll leave here tomorrow early. The only trouble we've had so far is attacks by a strange species of fly that bite your ankles but we have a, a phaser-like device that treats the injuries. So, so it hasn't been too, bad, too much of an issue. Captain's log 20170924. We have left the Anderson Bay colony of the United States. We spent the day, correction, we spent the night on a mooring ball observing the locals. Our sensors didn't pick up anything because they're like water sensors and whatnot. They're not really designed to monitor people, but uh, I'll work on that. The kitties are settling in well. We've just left and we're heading towards another colony of the Americans called uh, Oshwego. There we're gonna make first contact with the government officials and they will hopefully allow us passage through their space. voyage from Henderson Bay to Oswego, we were treated to a 360 degree freshwater liquid horizon. There are only a few places in the world where this is actually possible. Most of them are in the Great Lakes. As someone who grew up in an arid country, it was quite a treat. Uh, we just got turned around at the border again. I need another little bit of paper. We can get it, it's one and a half day sail away, so We'll leave here, pull up more in what we did last night. We'll get leave early tomorrow, get to the, the land border crossing, which is where we have to go, and then turn around, head back to our mooring that we'll be at tonight, and then we'll return to watch where you go. Can't be too disappointed when you have a sunset like that behind you. The whole intent of this trip was to go sailing, so we have the sails up. There's no wind, but at least we have the sails up, and I have a good book to read. So I've been a bit stressed about this whole immigration thing. It's not, it's not fun. It's a bit shitty. Hopefully we'll have it sorted out. This should be the final thing. And then we can finally start our trip down the canal. To be honest, we started our trip. And we did give ourselves extra time because we knew stuff like this was coming up. I've been a bit stressed and I think I've been taking that out on Diana. And 
I'm not proud of myself about that. And I'm not happy with myself. Um, just like a few comments here and there that I wish I hadn't said. I'll work on that. We anchored and watched the beautiful sunset in Henderson Bay. Got up real early this morning so we can set sail for Cape Vincent. I need to get a I-94 and we need to do a land border. And then Dan is just woken up. We've been on the move for about two hours. Our ETA now is 9.30. Hopefully we'll get everything done early and it's a possibility that we'll be able to head all the way back to where we go today. The fun to see the sunrise behind me just peeking out over that, that island. Uh, there we go. The delay is annoying, but you can't really complain with a view like that. We anchored up in Alexandria Bay, and I watched Greg take the dinghy to the ferry. I am in lovely, actually I'm on lovely Wolf Island, about to catch the William Darrell ferry over to St. Vincent in the USA to pick up my I-94. Uh, apparently you need to do a land crossing to pick up the I-94 sometimes, and apparently this ferry is a land crossing. It's very confusing. We read the website and the website said that if we're coming in by sea or air we don't need an I-94, but the gent that we spoke to apparently disagreed with the website so we'll we'll sort that out i know the vast majority of america is not like the border controls so i'm excited to get past that and see all the wonderful people that live there okay good news i have my i have my i-94 and there's this wonderful little uh, bells playing in the background it's a very cute little town here at cape vincent uh, so I am going to head back to Canada on the ferry, pick up Diana, bring the boat over, and then we'll get our cruising permit and we'll be in the States legally with the boat and the kitties. Uh, no more, uh, we won't have to even talk to anyone on Oswego, which will be nice. Um, reject me once, shame on you, reject me twice. Um, so yeah, now we're just waiting for the ferry to come back. It doesn't run very frequently. so. I'll just sit here and enjoy these bells. Yay! Okay, so we are standing legally in the US uh, and our boat is legally floating over there. <laughs> and the kitties are legally in the US. Uh, everything is sorted. We're two days from Oswego, so we will head back to Henderson Bay tonight and sail to Oswego tomorrow. Yeah, the wind is starting to pick up, so we might, might do a bit of a sail today. But, uh, it's a huge relief to actually be legally allowed here. Yeah. And uh, now we don't actually have to talk to the border guards at Oshawa. Yeah. We're going to get you some fresh fruit now that we're illegal. Yeah, no more canned food. We celebrated our success with a dance party. So we're gonna do some anchor drills and maybe anchor overnight. We're in Oswego! Yes, legally. For the third time. Well, first time legally for me. You are well, legal all the time. I think we were legal all three times, but we weren't officially Oh yeah, we couldn't allowed. get a cruising license, so yeah. to but be we fair, did check we've in. been legal every time. Yes, just so people know. Yeah, yeah. And the CBP you know. Also, we forgot to mention the people at Oswego Marina. The last time we were here, we paid for a night, but ended up having to leave immediately. So we didn't end up using our night. So when we came back two days later, they weren't going to charge us for another night, which was really nice and generous of them. I left the yoke. I felt really guilty, but we were stressed when we leave. We left the yoke 
twice. <laughs> the lovely paper here put it aside for us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now that we had finally got our paperwork cleared up and settled into Oswego, we focused on getting the boat ready to get the mast unstepped. First we took the sails down and then we removed the boom and placed it on the side of the boat. Next, we flaked our sails and rolled them up to store in our sail bags. Then we removed the baby stays in preparation for stepping the mast. Finally, we motored over to the crane where our friends at the Oswego Marina helped us unstep our mast. Mass secured, Cat's Away was now Erie Canal ready. We're now headed down the Hudson, so if you have any recommendations, please comment below. Please also share with us how you think we can make our sailing or vlogging better. Thanks for watching. <laughs>